A 66-year-old man attended our hospital with shortness of breath, asthenia, and fever. He had a history of multiple myeloma, which, eight weeks earlier, necessitated him having a vertebral arthrodesis for a pathological fracture of the fourth thoracic vertebra. After the operation, he received radiotherapy stereotaxic on the surgical site. Seven weeks after ra the radiotherapy, he received a single dose of bortezomib and four days of lenalidomide. A week later, the respiratory state of the patient worsened. He required invasive mechanical ventilation and fulfilled criteria for acute respiratory distress syndrome. Chest x-ray showed acute pneumonitis and CT showed central alveolar condensation with ground glass opacities and reticulation sparing the subpleural part of the lung and the lower lobe. Cardiac and infectious disease were ruled out. High-grade radiation pneumonitis was retained because the lung opacities were located around the vertebral osteosynthesis, as you can see on picture A. The correlation between the lung lesion distribution and the calculated radiation field supported the diagnosis, as you can see on picture B. We started corticosteroid treatment, which allowed the patient to be weaned of mechanical ve ventilation 11 days after. Because the dose of radiation was low, we postulated that there might have been a synergistic effect between chemotherapy and radiotherapy in causing our patient severe lung disease. 